the time we've been stood here now, there hasn't been a number 15 bus for one hour and 40 minutes. This route starts at Old Farmley. I don't know if the bus has been going and not carrying on coming to our area or if they've been stood for an hour and 40 minutes. But this route to me seems quite unachievable. It was a circular bus that just came into town and then came back. Now it's going, I don't know where, Bramley or somewhere like that. So by the time it gets back, it's late and I think it goes out of service. But if they're late coming from Old Farnley, when they get to, uh, and the, you know, they must have been told to do this, they get to King Street, they're put in, not in service, drop the passengers off at Corn Exchange, then turn, turn around in town here, to go, you know, and that, that puts about, about on the time to go back up. So they miss out East End Park area, Cross Green area completely. Um, when I used to work, uh, I used to get the weekly ticket um, and a few weeks I had to ring taxi like two or three times a week because the bus never came. When it runs it's alright but it's, it's just uncertainty. You know, it's just ridiculous really. You never know when you're going to get back home, do you? No, it's like oh, you can dash coming down. Yeah, from bus and come in and you've got to wait an hour. We're happy with the half hourly service if it's reliable. We love to come into Leeds and do a shopping in the market. We're afraid to buy anything that's too heavy in case we have to walk home. For the people travelling to work, we've had people moving because of the bus service that's not getting them to work. Employers don't believe that a bus could miss so much, but it does. And this is making our area more transitional. It's making people miss hospital appointments because the bus doesn't come, they don't have the taxi fare. For carers it's causing great anxiety because they don't want to leave home and the uncertainty of not getting back. And it's just causing a lot of isol unnecessary isolation. A few weeks ago I was waiting in Berlin for a bus. It was on the screen, not in minutes, it was timetable time. It went off, but a few minutes later a bus came on saying not in service and it stopped till it passes it off. So I asked the driver, I said, where are you going? And he said, oh, I'm not in service, love. I said, what were you? Were you the number 15? He says, oh, yeah. He said, I, I, don't, know, I don't know this part of the route, so I'm, I've, I've got to turn round. So the people waiting at all the stops wouldn't, wouldn't have had a bus. Now we're waiting now, lots of people waiting now for a 15. It's nearly half past, it's 20, 25 minutes late. I've seen two buses going down not in service and it won't surprise me if one of them was our bus and they're pulling it out. This has been going on since first took over now. We've got three ward councillors. There are all the tenants and residents meeting in the area and this is a major problem for them. They've tried everything. We've made a deposition to the council and still, as you've seen this morning, things haven't got better. The councils have tried. We just don't know what to do next.